Hello everyone. This is image 22 for the Intraoral Radiographic Interpretation Seminar course. In this video, we are going to review two periapical radiographs and a CBCT scan to refresh our knowledge about recurrent apical periodontitis. This is the first radiograph. We have one periapical radiograph of the maxillary right posterior region. The third molar is missing. The second molar is endodontically treated. The radiographic findings suggest adequate obturation of all three canals. Based on this radiograph, we do not know if there is an MB2 canal. The cervical area of the palatal root, we do not see any radiopaque obturation material. We see an oval irregular radiolucency superimposed over the roots of the second molar. If you trace the floor of the maxillary sinus, it becomes thin or perforated in the area of the second molar. This is the inferior border of the zygomatic arch. We have one more periapical radiograph of the same patient. Same patient, radiograph taken on the same day. We can see the radiolucency is here. We can also see the loss of the sinus floor cortication. The additional information we see is a smooth radio opacity on the floor of the sinus. This may mean a retention pseudocyst. We can also see that there are probably two canals, two canals on the mesiobuccal root. Because these are two-dimensional images, we do not have any information about the status of the buccal cortical plate or the palatal cortical plate. We have a small field of view CBCT scan to review the floor of the sinus, the cortical plates, and the status of the roots. Let's review the CBCT scan. So this is our CBCT scan. This limited field of view CBCT scan has included the areas of the canine and the third molar. On the axial view, these stripes are image artifacts. On the axial view, this is the second molar. You can see that the mesial root has two canals and both are obturated. So on the coronal view, this is the buccal cortical plate and this is the palatal cortical plate. As we move anteriorly, we can see that the distobuccal root and the palatal root are obturated. The palatal cortical plate is disrupted here. The sinus floor is thin and probably eroded. We see a soft tissue density mass here and we can see this mass better on this image the mass that we had seen on the periapical radiograph. So this is consistent with a retention pseudocyst. On this view, here is the radiolucency and we can appreciate that there is slight elevation of the sinus floor. As we move mesially, these are the mesial roots. Both the root canals are obturated and I am going back and forth to show you both the canals. So on this image also, we can see that the palatal cortical plate is perforated. Overall, the lesion is circular, but there are some irregularities. Such findings are usually with an infected radicular cyst. Although this tooth was endodontically treated, we still have a periapical lesion with perforation of the palatal cortical plate and elevation of the sinus floor. These findings are consistent with a recurrent apical periodontitis. Recurrent apical periodontitis can happen from different reasons. These are the five common reasons. Inadequate root canal treatment. Perforation of the canal wall during instrumentation. The canal may be tortuous and may not have been instrumented properly. Or an accessory canal that was not treated. And also a fractured root. Thank you very much. Asante sana. You have already reviewed 22 images. A few more to go. Come back again to review another radiograph.